did you dream that that that, that would be the car? That it would be like I never dreamt it would be like that. Oh my! Look at. I can't believe it, Sean. What are you pulling off, Sean? <laughs> this is this is brand new. <laughs> 1988 brand new, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh my. What a nice color, eh? That showroom condition. <laughs> I'll have to put a put a sign out here. Do not touch on every window. <laughs> and what kind of cassettes uh, do you put in there? Yeah, old school. Yeah. Yeah, it the takes old original cassettes. Oh yeah, yeah the or, the original ones. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe you're too far from the pedal. Oh, you mean they move? <laughs> it's automatic. <yeah. laughs> oh no. Is that enough? <laughs> the seats, the seats are electric. <laughs> Just pop it up and then it'll rise up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking old. Look at that, eh? <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Watch, look at here, Sean. Now that there's lots of room to move in here. Yeah, yeah, you can work on yeah. it for sure. The, the newer ones, they're all more closed in, you know, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, at there's no rust in it. There's no rust. So I was visiting my grandpa, and we were talking about women, actually, and my grandma and how he met my grandma. And all of a sudden, he interjected uh, and actually cut himself off mid-sentence, and my grandpa went into the kitchen and returned with a well-worn copy of Kelly Blue Book. And he turned to a page that was dog-eared and pointed out the car that he thought he would really enjoy. And it turned out to be a BMW 325i, the E30 generation. And I nearly fell off my chair. <laughs> it's like pretty cool that uh, my grandpa has such great taste in cars. When I saw how passionate he was about the E30, it got oh, yeah. the wheels turning and I started thinking maybe I could get him a BMW that he could enjoy uh, later in his life uh, since he never really treated himself to a really nice car before. I don't want to stop. <laughs> think about my grandpa I think about his sense of humor how much fun he is to spend time with his adventurous spirit and how miraculous it is that he has all of those qualities at the age of 92 the 735i is a really awesome 7 series it's probably one of my favorites and uh, I say that because it's a really pure recipe it's rear-wheel drive it's got a really torquey 3.5 liter inline six. It's actually sharing the same engine block with the BMW M1 supercar, which is a neat little nod to motorsport history. And uh, it's a really agile car for the size of it. It shrinks around you. I mean, all BMWs tend to do that, but I really find this one uh, seems to feel like you're driving a small car after a few corners. So my friend Graham and I uh, drove the BMW down to Harrow, Ontario, where my grandpa lives, to drop it off. BMW Canada was kind enough to lend us a brand new 7 Series uh, 740IL, which has an inline six, just like the 735i. So it was kind of neat to compare old versus new in that respect. And uh, so together we dropped off the car and uh, gave grandpa a heads up so that it wasn't too big a surprise. I think my grandpa has taught me that it's never too late in life to learn something new and 
you might be tired <laughs> as uh, you're entitled to be when you're 92, but uh, you always can have enough energy and uh, ambition to take on something else and keep yourself busy and uh, productive and having fun. BMWs tend to add to your quality of life. They make every drive a little more spirited and purposeful, even if you're just picking up milk and eggs. They say giving an elderly person a pet can extend their life by several years, and I think this BMW 7 Series is having the same effect on my grandpa. He gets dressed in his finest to drive it into town, and it seems to give him another outlet to enjoy beyond playing guitar and winemaking and gardening. I hope he still enjoys it a decade from now.